Right before I finished Hogsmeade, I ran into a big problem. Big surprise, huh? Running into a major issue right at the last minute that halts all work on the entire project? Never have I heard of that issue. I'm joking, of course. I've ran into various major issues at the final stage of almost every single project I've ever worked on, including other issues that Hogsmeade had that are completely unrelated to the topic of this video. I've even had this happen on projects that have nothing to do with level design or hammer. However, I'm usually able to fix those problems. But this video will demonstrate something that I believe I really have no way of fixing on my own. I really think this is a major issue that can affect anyone mapping for Gmod, and there's pretty much no way of diagnosing it unless you are aware of the issue's existence. So around early June 2021, I was finishing up Hogsmeade and I ran into the problem. When compiling the entire map, pretty much all of my brush-based entities stopped working. So this made absolutely no sense to me because all of the brush entities would work absolutely perfectly fine when I would just compile sections of the map individually. So after countless hours of troubleshooting, I finally discovered something. Disabling all of my new sheds, which were at the time entirely brushwork, magically fixed the issue. Well, of course, I decided to make this a feature and converted those brush-based sheds into models that you could actually go inside of, but it seemed to me that when I exceeded 8,000-ish brushes, it caused my brush entities to stop working completely. Because it was so close to the original brush limit of 8192, I assumed that maybe going over 8192 caused problems elsewhere due to Gmod's increased brush limit, but now I'm not too sure about that. On August 23rd, I made a bug report on the Gmod Issues GitHub page, and since then, well, there hasn't been a response. More than likely because I didn't really word this report very well, so that's why I'm making this video to actually showcase the problem happening, and to make the issue more known to others who might be working on large mapping projects for Gmod right now. In this video, I'll be using the exact same files that I provide in the bug report, and I'll link them in the description as well. So to start off, I'm actually going to overwrite all of my existing files with the ones from the bug report files, just to be sure there's no difference. Now I'll open Hammer and load the file master underscore test dot vmf. The map is set up to demonstrate the problem by default, as well as a few other instance related issues, but those are unrelated to this. Before I run the map, I want to give a little overview of some of the things going on here. So in this corner, we have nine squares of some of them are instances and some of them aren't. They're just blocks with a trigger, a trigger multiple on top of it. And these outputs simply change the fog. That's all these do. And let me show you that they are, you know, set to clients. Over here we have a bunch of instanced teleporters. This is a trigger teleport, and this is the destination for that one. I can go in the instance and show you. Everything's good. Clients, boom. Everything's good. Teleport dust. Right here, this is dust motes and embers. And in this corner, these aren't instanced at all. These are all just the exact same thing. They're just trigger hertz. And these also have an output set to change the fog. And finally, up here, we have the part that actually makes the problem happen. So <laughs> what is this? Well, it's, uh, it's a little gross. And let me come up here and zoom in. And uh, uh, uh. it's just a bunch of brushes, OK? It's a ton, a ton of brushes, and some of them are instanced. That's just to make it a little easier to manually like figure out like exactly when the problem occurs. As I explained earlier, I thought the problem would occur when there's more than 8,000 brushes, but in this map, it actually occurs at a much higher level, so I don't actually think it has anything to do with the brush limit. I'm more leaning towards that it has something to do with the brush side limit, or maybe even something completely unrelated to that. Anyway, I'm just going to run the map. I'm going to compile it. I'm not going to run viz because it doesn't need to be ran and it would make it take a long time, but I, I believe I've ran this with viz and it doesn't make a difference. I do want to run rad because it gives you the map statistics at the end of the compile. So let's do this. Let's run it. Okay, so we're in Gmod. And you can see this is like 000 on the map right here. 
And it looks like our our dust motes and whatnot are working. But this isn't working. This trigger's not working. This trigger's not working. This trigger's not working. So on, so forth. Basically, nothing will work. Nothing here is going to work. The hurts, they're not hurting me. Let's fly over to the teleports. Teleports, they're not teleporting. Nothing is working. I want to go to the compile log, and I'm just going to take note of a few things here. Right here, we're above 8,000, obviously. So in our map, I'm just going to select this one instance, just this one instance, and I'm going to hide it. Now I'm going to save the map, compile it again, back in Gmod. Now watch this. Boom, the fog changes. All the fogs change. All of these work. They're all functional. The teleporters teleport, and the hurts hurt. Wow. They also change the fog. So what gives? The plot thickens here. I'm going to unhide that. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to name one of these trigger hurts. I'm going to just name it like Testo. It's called Testo. I'm going to save. And I am going to run the map again. While this is loading, I'm going to, real quick, look at the log for the previous compiles. So this is the one we just currently did. 68, 100. So this is the one that's broken. Up here. This is the one that isn't broken. And then this should be identical. Yeah, so that one is also broken. The interesting thing here is that the brush sides on the one that isn't broken is less than 65535, which is the previous max brush sides. And the one over here is just slightly over the max brush sides. Hmm. So this one, again, shouldn't be functional, right? But let me go over here. This is the one we named, remember? Not functional. OK. In console, ent underscore fire space will show you a list of all of the entities in the map. And you can see Testo. What's that? Testo is there. So the entity itself is there. And we can actually go and fire start touch on it. And look, the fog changes as if we're start touching. And we can even do end touch. And it turns off. So the logic is there in the engine, which makes sense because let's go and open this map in Vide. So here's all the entities that are inside of the map. Let's find Testo. There's Testo right there. All of these are there. All of the triggers and everything are there. However, the collision isn't functioning. And now I had many theories. I thought maybe there's a problem with the B model lump and that this is this is getting a little out of hand right now. So uh, basically I wrote this program I to print out like all of the, the, the B models and what B models are, are this thing, which is a index of, of brush faces that make up brush models. And it seems to me like they're all perfectly fine. So I don't think that that really has anything to do with it. It might, but it doesn't seem like it should because look how low these numbers are. These aren't going above 65535 at all. So there's no nothing going on in that lump that could be the problem. So I thought, okay, this might be a problem specifically with the BSP precompiler. So when you're working with instances, okay, instances are submaps essentially, but when you compile, it collapses them all into your main map before it compiles. But just to show that it has nothing to do with instances. I'm just going to instance collapse all. Hit yes. Boom. 
So now there are no instances in the entire map. I'm going to save it and run it. And the problem will still happen. Instances actually cause a lot of issues, and it's one of the reasons I didn't start using instances really until my last map that I made, which was the Star Wars map, but even then, it I had a lot of problems and I had to like collapse all of them halfway through. It was a big mess. So, okay, let's go here, check, doesn't work, nothing works, nothing's functional, just as it always is. Surprisingly over here though, our dust motes are functional, which is the craziest thing because if all these other brush entities aren't functional with player collision for some strange reason, why would these be functional? Clearly the volume is being defined. In the code maybe it takes the, the bounding box of these kinds of, of brush entities, but I really can't tell you what is going on. And uh, that's what this video is all about. I have no clue. I don't know what's going on. This could be an internal Gmod problem. I really think it stems from the fact that the brush side limit has been increased. So before I continue rambling for another hour, I'm gonna just cut off the video here. Uh, hopefully this video will, you know, let you know that this can happen. This is one of those things. This is one of the many things I've ran into with Gmod where there's no documentation. I've gotten errors that typically mean something else that are caused by something completely different. Like, I've had an issue where I went over the water instances limit and it gives me errors on displacements as if the displacement was the problem. And it has nothing to do with that at all whatsoever. Uh, water instances can also be related to T-junction. So essentially I went over the T-junction limit, which caused me to be over the water instances limit which then for whatever reason in the compiler would just air out with a really vague error or it would just not give me an error it would just stop compiling as if it finished compiling but it never actually finished but that's completely unrelated ignore what i just said that has nothing to do with the video i'm just complaining <sighs> but yeah um uh, gary rubat Please fix. Call John Carmack. So if you have any idea on why this happens, um, you know, comment down below. Uh, rate the video five stars. And um, subscribe. And make sure you try this out yourself with the files in the description because I've gotten multiple people to try this and it all works the same on all of their computers. So it's not just localized to me. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on. And I'm surprised that I'm the only one that's noticed this. I suppose I might be the only one that's released a massive Gmod project since this update. It only was like June, like early June, the update that added the brush faces. Yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this video now and hopefully have it uploaded soon, soonish. Since this is a this is a last minute video. I had the idea for this one about two days ago, but I've been uh, really busy, really busy since then. So yeah, uh, take care, bye bye.